Then I said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O oh God, to fulfill what is written of me. What about you when you come before a just judge? How much breakthrough, deliverance can you get? Jesus will never come to the cross to die for your sin. He did it already. But he rose in his priestly garments as Melchizedek now. His number one assignment is to defend what he died for in the court. We bring every chain. We bring everything that the enemy has put upon our life. That we will be a people of honor like never before in Jesus' mighty name. The actual sign of Pentecost is the power of authorized utterance at a higher level where your words pierce the hearts of people and they can't shake the impression of what you created. When God is saying, no, I need you to wake up because you're walking in the wrong direction. And if you keep walking in this direction, you're headed for destruction. Everything that Jesus did when he came to this earth and now he's ascended back to the Father and he says, I've given you all authority, I've given you dominion, now begin to act like it. God wants you to know it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but your spirit is going to raise up in you and he's going to take you right through that mountain. No matter what's happened, my God is faithful. No matter what I feel, my God is going to come through. No matter what they say, my God is going to show up. No matter what I think, my God is on time. He's always been on time. He's never early. He's never late. My God is going to show up. Grace is the divine ability to be and do according to what God called you to. In other words, if God says, be holy as I am holy, grace enables you to be holy.